Okay, continuing my quest to find if churches and ancient sites are built on old earth energy currents. I say I've been looking into this uh, possibility of a major earth energy current coming through uh, the southeast, which I've called the Wessex Serpent. So I can do a bit of dowsing with my rods. Okay, to see what we ask a couple of questions. Uh, if it's a positive, it goes crosses over. If it's a negative, it goes out. Is St Bartholomew's Church in Lye on a earth energy current? Is Bartholomew's Church on an earth energy current? Yes. Will I say again? Sorry about the traffic. Is St Bartholomew's Church on an earth energy current? Is St Bartholomew's Church on an earth energy current? Thank you. I always give a negative question. Let's just show you. Was there a supermarket on this site in the 1500s? Was there a supermarket on the site? No, my hands are tingling a little bit there. Okay. Is this the same earth energy current that connects with Beckworth Castle? Yeah, I'll ask that again actually. Is this the same earth energy current that connects with Beckworth Castle? It's the same earth energy current that connects with Hampton Court Royal Chapel. Yes, okay. That's quite heavy, no point. So the base is a serpent energy we have. Um, a male and a female, yin and yang, positive and negative, that flows like a serpent, expands, ex extracts, expands, um, and flows through the through the landscape. But this thing is a sort of a natural earth magnetic field, um, but it's still a lot of padded that's unknown and you can sort of pick up with dowsing. I think recently someone actually did an experiment and actually picked it up with electronic equipment. You know, one of the, the many, there's so many around the world. You've got the famous St. Michael and Mary line that goes from uh, Cornwall up to the Norfolk coast that goes through Avebury and Glastonbury and places like that. But I think there's one major one going through the southeast, which I think flows out of Avebury, which has had been confirmed a couple of times. Um, but yeah, what I'm doing, I'm doing blind testing on a few people. I'm asking them to do dowsing, to my fellow dowsers who can do some dowsing at home or out ask them a couple of questions and see if they get the same answers. Okay, so yeah, well, what to be done? Okay, what I'm intended to do when I go to these sites is ask a series of questions. They'll all be quite related and all be quite the same. Um, I did do some, say, do some dowsing here last year, um, but I'm gonna do it fresh, okay? And uh, two copper rogs, See, I dowse, people have asked me about this, I dowse upside down like that. Uh, just find the gravity gives it a more of an accurate reading as opposed to having it on top. I don't think it really matters too much. Whatever your preference, it's going to give you the same results. Some people have twigs, don't they, and they hold them upside down. So, here we go. Uh, with me, if they cross, it's a positive. If they're out, it's a negative. I usually put these in ground first, just stick them in the ground in the mud, just give them, get them grounded first. Okay. Is there an earth energy current flowing through Beckworth Castle? Is there an earth energy current? Yes, thank you very much. Is it a major earth energy current coming through the southeast? Is it a major earth energy? Yes, quite strong that one. I'm going to do a negative here just to show you the, the negative. Was there a supermarket on this site in the 1500s? Was there a supermarket on this site in the 1500s? No. A little tingle in my hands there. Thank you. Sorry for uh, tricking you. Is this the same energy current I picked up at West Humble Chapel? Is it the same energy current I picked up at West Humble Chapel? Yes. Can you show me which way the energy field flows, please? Can you show me which way the energy field flows? In that way. Okay. Going down towards lie. Okay. Here's a big question. I haven't asked this one before, so this is going to be interesting. Does this major earth energy current flow out of Avebury? Does this major earth energy current flow out of Avebury? Yes, I'm going to ask that again because that's quite an important question. Does this major earth energy current flow out of Avebury? Does this major earth energy current flow out of Avebury? Yes, it does. Okay. See, what I'll do is when I ask people to come and sort of verify, 
I will ask them the same questions, but I try not to show them the footage, obviously, so they don't know what I've done. Okay. Interesting. Oh, fly me. Go away, Mr. <laughs> Buzzer. Does this major earth energy current go up to all children church? Does it go to all children church? No, okay. That might be a, an offshoot. Are there earth energy currents offshooting from the major current? Yeah, okay. I'm going to ask that again though. Does this a earth energy current flow out of Avebury? Does this earth energy current flow out of Avebury? Yes. Okay. So I want to do I'm making notes as I do it, as I go along. Uh, I've got a little notebook. Of all the places I go to and make notes, um, the questions I've asked and then we'll validate. I'm going to ask one more question. Uh, anyone saw my recent Hampton Court video? Um, so I've got a bit of a heavy head in there in the Royal uh, Chapel. Let's see if it's the same, same uh, energy current. Is this the same earth energy that I picked up in Hampton Court Palace in the Royal Chapel? Is it the same? Yes. I'll do that again actually. Is it the same earth energy current I picked up in the chapel in the Hampton Court, please? Yeah, a little bit of a tingle. Okay, that was really heavy. Was that in Hampton Court in the Royal Chapel, was that a node point for the female and male energy? In the Royal Chapel at Hampton Court, is that a cross line for the female and male energy? Yeah, it might be why it's so strong. Interesting. So there you go, just a little example of how I'm going to do this. Um, I say we'll be having other people help out as well. Um, it's it's interesting. A lot of people have been asking me about dowsing recently, and I've, it's very hard to film dowsing when you're filming on your own. That's why what I do, I do a rudimentary little scout around, and then I turn the camera on and uh, take it from there. So yeah, Betworth Castle, could have been an old Iron Age hill fort. What was on the site before then? We're high up, you know. It's all about being quite high up, I find quite interesting. And uh, yeah, so if you want to join me for this journey, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you're a dowser or interested in dowsing. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.